Hi, this is Eve, and this is my 11-year-old assistant, Emma Rose. Today, since we are confined or isolated, we are going to demonstrate how to set up a yurt if you're alone. And Rosie here, you will be filming? Yes. And you will be uh, editing this video? Yeah. Groovy. Thank you. So, we've prepared a structure, pre-prepared a structure. You have all the instructions in our full setup video. Today, I'm only going to demonstrate what is the most difficult to do if you're alone, meaning raising the tonal and lifting the heaviest parts. So follow me in the yurt and I'll show you what we, how we prepare this. The first step is to drop the bagana to the floor. So you do this, you will have your half wrap, so you have to be careful to the little half wrap parts. You raise this lower here. So if you don't have, if you're not six foot five like I am, you, you have to do on one back end slowly and on the other, but it's possible. Then you can back this whole assembly, total assembly, towards the back of the yurt. Having the bottom of your baganas in the center line of your yurt, roughly. Now, <coughs> you're going to reattach the cardinal ropes. We have four of them. So, what length are you going to attach them to? The length of a un. So, you take a un, a roof rafter. Look that this is roughly the length of the roof rafter. And you attach it to the west of the yurt, roughly, about here. And you attach it temporarily, for example, with just a slip knot. Something that will release easily. But still solid enough. This way you can release. You do the same on the other side. Doesn't have to be exactly precise. It is only temporary. And the last one. Again, you measure the length of the rope and attach it in the middle of your back wall. So if you have a five wall, you count from the beginning of the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the middle of your wall. And you attach. So now it's the tricky part. Because it's a little heavy for sure. So you will lift this bagan and now you have to hold it of course with your shoulder you, you start a little further at the back you hold the bagan and and now i have to this is the tricky part so i'll show you from the outside of the year. you need to hold it on the rope And you've placed a couple of wounds on the perimeter, two on each side of the door. You place the first one, you leave three empty, you go into the fourth one. And you place the little rope on top of the un, like this, keeping the pressure. You put the second un, leaving three holes empty on, on the other side of the rope. You place the un rope on top 
of the wall. There you go. And now you secure the triangle by passing this cardinal rope above the door, making the usual tension knot here, taking the end of the rope, pulling this triangle firmly. So this should be, if not solid, at least stable. Now we go back and we adjust our tonal. It's really Voila. <laughs> we want to have the straight line towards the center, like we would do in a normal setup. You can pull each of the bagan back until they are vertical. There we are. So now we have a strong triangle. We check the back of our wall if we are still well centered. Well centered. Move the wall a little bit. And we place one un in the back center. And there we go. Even more solid. Now we need to be careful. Here I don't have a perfect circle. So I'm putting this un temporarily. On top of the wall, I check that I'm not pushing my assembly too far. One. And I do the, other, the same thing on the other side. There we go. There we are. And again, we have just my bagatas are leaning a little bit towards the back, so. I put this one to the front, this one to the front, and then center. So now my tono is raised, it's stable, I can feel the ohms around the tono, something I will do now. So now let's say that we've raised the tono. We've put all the ohms around, which is easy to do. Imagine, please. And you want to put the felts. Well, first you will put the cotton liner. Now you're going to put the felts. And you're alone, and you're not 6'5 and 230 pounds. So one trick is to take your ladder, because you will have a ladder. It could be a couple ohms. You press it against your yurt. And you take your felt bundle, you, you've pre-folded it, you bring it towards your ladder, lean it there, and then part of the weight is then taken by the ladder, and you can raise your felts on the roof. You have one own close by, which then allows you to push the felt up and then fold it up and fold it on each side like you would do in a normal year. So this is all if you're just alone and don't have anyone to help you. It's of course not necessarily recommended. The tonneau can be heavy, especially if the year is large. Uh, but it's possible. So, first step, try to get some help. You can still, with a yurt as small as uh, 16 feet diameter, you can still have enough social distance to be able to safely put up a yurt with some help. If you don't, if you're alone, here is a little trick that can help you. And I'll lay it now up to my wonderful assistant, my daughter, to put this video together. And I thank everyone for your attention. Happy year. Hey Rose, come back. Now I showed you how to do it alone. So take that here down. Oh, nice. <laughs>